Moving on to the warrant articles review. First, we have the cable franchise fee increase. Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, <coughs> excuse me. The, uh, the board wanted us to look at, at uh, uh, the fact that we needed, apparently, to increase the fees uh, mm -hmm. from the cable franchise so that Channel 22 would remain whole. Because at some point in time next year, we're going to run a $9,000 deficit despite the fact uh, that we continue to receive funds. We're just going to run out of money. <clears throat> Assuming we continue to pay at the same rate that we have both the town and the school to support the, the cable TV systems. Uh, I asked the, public, the uh, finance department to run out a pro forma um, for six years based upon increasing this to 40% of the fund from 25% of the fund. And in doing that, they, uh, the analysis came back that uh, as long as there are no increased unusual expenses, the fund will stay currently as it is without further assistance for those six years. So that seems like a pretty good goal. Uh, we have a small reserve at the end of each of those years. Uh, so if something major goes on, some, some major part, part of the system breaks down, we should be able to fix it without difficulty. So the recommendation to the, to the board is to submit a warrant article to town meeting to authorize that the uh, amount to be taken from the franchise fees for the maintenance of the cable TV system, the town system, uh, be increased from 25% to 40%. Questions, Mr. Waddell? Yes, yes. First of all, I'd like to say that Channel 22 does a phenomenal job in the money that they do have that they cover all the, the meetings that they're able to cover that take place in this uh, in here. They cover uh, some sports at Winnicunit, and they do a fabulous job with what they have. And they do a fabulous job of keeping that budget together and not spending all the money so that they have some reserves so in case something happens. And that being said, that's one thing. The other thing is I, I just have a real problem with this whole cable franchise fee thing. I have a real problem. Number one, the fee comes from the cab uh, from the cable company, correct, Fred? That's correct. Right. The purpose of that fee is for what? The purpose of the fee is to um, share with the town the proceeds, uh, which federal statute allows, uh, so that we can fund Channel 22 and, and the school channel. Okay, so that we can fund Channel 22 and a school channel. Mm -hmm. It does not say that it's for reducing taxes. Now, I know it was a town warrant article that, that did that, 2575. Right. But people in, and I want the public really to know this, Comcast people are paying an extra fee that other people who do not have Comcast are not paying. Mm -hmm. So it's going to reduce. So X amount of the population is paying money to reduce taxes for 100% of the population. I don't, in the first place, I don't see that as, as, as a valid. I see the franchise fee as something to, to provide cable, public cable TV in the town. So it, back whenever it was done to reduce taxes, it was not done, to my mind, it was not a proper thing to be done. But that being said, I would support the 40%, 100%. I think that the, that, that <laughs> the, 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 22 does a great job. I think Channel 13 is doing a great job, and I think they both should continue. But I also think that there's going to be other people coming who want public access that will be separate, but that's some, they're going to need money for that also. Mm -hmm. So the town really has to make up their mind. Do they want, what do they want done with the public channels? And how are they going to support the public channels? And should X amount of the population be paying for 100% of the population? To reduce their taxes, I see that as I just see that as wrong, Mr. Bridal. <laughs> I agree with Jim. It's all being, Rusty's fault. Being one of those people that doesn't have Comcast, yet still enjoy the benefits of that uh, through the internet, I think it's important that the franchise fee, at minimum, covers the cost that it does. And right now we've, we 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 determined that it's not going to, so forty percent's better. I think I don't disagree with Jim that a hundred percent of that ought to go into the fee, but at least the forty percent, and I can support this. Mrs. Wolseley. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I sat on the board that signed the first cable franchise. Mr. Bean. 
Selectman Waddell makes great sense this evening, and uh, I, I look forward to uh, a proposed remedy next semester, and uh, I support it. <laughs> yeah. One of the problems is there are many people that don't use all of the services. A lot of people don't use the services of the police. There's a lot of people that, don't have, that pay for education, mm -hmm. that don't have kids in the school. Um, and, you know, it would be easy if we could just uh, deal with Comcast and iron some of these things out, but they're untouchable and unreachable. It takes six years to get the agreements that we have with them now, and a great deal of money was spent to reach them. And experts coming to all these decisions, people that just um, specialize in this type of law. So, and there are a lot of uh, uh, red herrings in it because a lot of it's uh, federally mandated one way or the other and some of it has to do with it being um, for uh, cable, some of it has to be for um, uh, wireless and some of it has to do with being phone. Um, but, you know, I was thinking of it the other day uh, you know, really, we should get more money because there's a lot of people that, uh, in our agreement with Comcast, they should pay us even more because we send them business. Because there are many people in Hampton, I know for a fact, that go to Comcast because they want to have Channel 22. They wouldn't even have Comcast, they would have DirecTV or one of those other ones, except for the fact that they can't have Channel 22. So, we're an asset to them. I'm going to respectfully disagree with you on the fact that the police department services 100% of the people in town. Everybody who lives in town and passes through yep. town gets that. The fire department, 100%. The public works, 100%. The cable company, not 100% of the people. And the cable company, education, 100% of the people do not have kids in school. But education increases your value of your home. It increases the value of the town. So 100% of the people in town are partaking in the education, even if they don't have children in the school. Whereas with the cable TV, they're not. So it's just my opinion. I'm not going to beat it. It's your opinion, but, but I, I think a lot of people use the police department. They use the fire department more than others. And I could go on and on about the education. You, thing. you know, there was, uh, I think Robin Williams said, and I'm trying to get this right in, in a movie, he said, you know, if you were right, I'd agree. I would have agreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how uh, people feel about the education when they vote on the school this year. Oh, dear. Um, uh, moving on to the <laughs> ICE. Chairman, do you want to, do you, do you want yeah. to submit the do warrant we need article? To have a, a you I'll do move. need to have a warrant article right. if you're going to change. I'll move that we submit the article as drafted by the manager Second. with the 40 percent of franchise fees devoted to the cable system. All those in favor, unanimous.